Hi, my name is Chanel Imani. You're at Learn to Ride. Hey, Chanel. Thanks for joining us, uh, us at Rumor Fix. Uh, let me ask you a question. How did you get involved in this? Well, um, I guess, it, well, I'm, I, I, I'm friends with the Oakley family, so they always invite me on this amazing snowboard um, experience. So that's kind of why I'm here, because I love snowboarding, and it's so much fun for me. And, of course, you do have a Sundance film. Dope. It's your first film ever. It is. How does that feel being an actress from a supermodel to an actress? I'm really excited. Like I, I'm very grateful and I'm blessed to be here in Utah. And my first film is just exciting. I mean, you know, I, I never thought that I would be doing a film. And here I am. Last year I just came for fun and now, now I'm coming back for a film. How did you get cast? Um, well, I met up with uh, the director and then I went in for an audition and I got the role. We're here at the Rumor Fix bar for Sundance, and we're continuing our discussion about dope, and we've got Kiersey Clemens. Hi, Hi. Kiersey. Hey. hey, we just interviewed Chanel, uh -huh. and she and her ex, uh, ASAP Rocky, were in that film together. Right. What was that like? Well, when we were filming, they were together. <laughs> so it's nice, but they filmed on different days. Um, and they were really supportive of each other, and they both did so great. Like, they didn't distract each other, which I think was really nice, because personally, if I was filming with my boyfriend, I think I would be distracted. Oh, I just touched my mic, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was awesome, they were fine. And I read somewhere that he was helping with her with her lines, and he said, mm -hmm. wow, I want to be in the film. Well, I, what happened was, um, he was helping her with her lines, and then she was like, she told him, like, Rocky, you, Scott, like, is you. This is so, not him, literally, because the character is not. <laughs> it's not like a gang banging drug dealer. <laughs> let's clarify. Yeah, that. let's yeah. clarify that. But their personalities, like the way they speak, is very much alike. And so she's like, "You should read for it." So we did, and Rick, the director, was really into it. And Rocky did so good. Like he impressed me the most. Like I was so, and he did amazing. So he's essentially the star of it. No, Shamik is the star, but. Rocky's definitely our um, antagonist. Yeah, he's our antagonist. We have a couple antagonists, but he's like the main one. He's the one that gets us in trouble, because that's the whole thing is that we've gotten caught up in this like drug scheme, and we have to get rid of these drugs. And he's the one that got us in it. <laughs> and so on the set, they were all lovey-dovey, and the breakup happened after the. Filming. I'm assuming so. I can't really like. I don't know. I'm not in their relationship, obviously. But on set, they were great. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And so you're like one of the hottest actresses in Hollywood. You also were in the very acclaimed Transparent. Yeah, I was. And, <laughs> you know, Golden Globe winner, Jeff yeah. Gilbert. Yeah. What did that feel like? You were there. Um, yeah, we had like a viewing party, and um, it was just like a lot of anxiety because it was all the cast and crew and like Jill's mom and like everyone in this giant theater like watching the Golden Globes and we're like standing up like waiting the first nomination we were like waiting like oh my god oh my god and then after we were leaving and we were like if we won Jeffrey definitely has to win like there's no way that he's not going to because he literally transformed for this role into a completely different sex like it was amazing yeah he deserved it and you said that you screamed there was like oh yeah I was crying you were well, crying. I was already crying because of the girl that won for Jane the Virgin. Her speech like made me tear up, and then Aww. we were right after that, and I was like, "Guys, I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna cry!" So like, it just like we were all crying. It was really overwhelming. And you also are on Eye Candy. Yeah. Not only are you Eye Candy, but you're on the new MTV series Eye Candy with Victoria Justice. Yeah. How's that? It's awesome. We were in New York filming. It was really cold. Um, it was really long nights. But we got a really great show out of it, and everyone's been really supportive, and it turned out, like, amazing. I think it turned out better than we thought, because we didn't know, really. It was a hard show to, like, it was a hard, like, subject to tackle. We were talking about, like, murder and stalkers and <laughs> trying to keep it, like, still fun, and, but we figured it out. It worked out really well. Our showrunner, Christian, was amazing. Now, we're rumor fixed, so we s fix rumors, okay. but you have no rumors. Not yet. I mean, like... I don't think so. When you do, you're coming to us first. Yeah, I'll come here to fix rumors. Like, but no one says anything about me. I'm pretty straightforward. 
Uh-huh. Like, I'll probably post it on my Instagram before I get to you. Like, no, that's not true. Are like, you dating anyone? No. No? Single, <laughs> ready to mingle. <laughs> what are you looking for? And a, like a man? A man or whoever. <laughs> um, I don't know. Sexy? I'm just kidding. I have no idea. I'm young. My like. You want to <laughs> have some fun? Yeah, like I don't know. I'm just chilling. Like if it happens, it happens. Um, I'm just living my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's it from the Rumor Fix Bar. 